Hi guys, we are looking for Forex traders just like you to take part in our educational challenge. You can earn while you learn. The goal, the purpose of this educational challenge is for you to become a pro trader and trade capital of up to $500,000. You will be given access to a bespoke indicator that has been developed by expert traders over many years. This indicator makes it easy to identify buying and selling opportunities in the market. So if you think you've got what it takes to complete this challenge, then click on the link below. Good morning traders, how are you? I hope you're well. Uh, today is Tuesday the 18th of April. Um, and as you can see guys, I'm not in my normal habitat. Lots of greenery out there. I'm normally in the desert. Um, but yeah, I'm in Thailand for a week guys. Very nice, we're in Krabi. It's day one, it's a very beautiful place. I'll send a few uh, pictures and videos later of me in my uh, Speedos. I'm only joking, I won't do that, that's not fair. Um, but yeah, I'll send you a few pics, guys. Um, but I'm still going to trade as usual, guys. I'm going to keep my eye on the markets. That's the beauty of trading. You can do it from anywhere in the world. As long as you've got, you know, laptop, internet connection, no problem. You can trade wherever. Um, so, guys, yeah, we're still going to do the same. We're going to look back at yesterday's trades. We're going to look at today's potential trade. And we're going to look at the important news for today as well. Um, so let's start with yesterday, guys. So this was the first trade we were looking at. This is New Zealand dollar against the Canadian dollar. Okay, guys, and we've been in a in a downtrend. Okay, so structurally, we're clearly in a downtrend. You don't have to be Warren Buffett to see that. And then secondly, guys, we've also got this super bearish daily candle. So in a downtrend with a bearish daily candle, the idea was just to take price back down to this psychological level, this 8250, if not a little bit further, guys. All right. So that was the trade idea. Um, and as you can see, price did come down. If we drop down to the H1 now, we can see if we had a setup. Um, and we could have done if we were being aggressive, but. Basically, guys, we were looking for a retrace. Yeah, once we got this retrace, you know, it's given us value. A retrace always gives us a, a good price to enter. Yeah, because if you enter down here, guys, yeah, there's no value. If you enter up here, there's value and there's room to move into. All right, guys. So that's why we look for a retrace. Um, so for me, there was no trade, really. I mean, you did get a couple of you know, bearish candles we could have entered on, you know, this one or this one. But I'm still expecting this to, to have a bit of a retrace before we can start shorting it again, guys. All right, so no trade really on New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar. But if we just go back to the day chart, I still think it's a short. Yeah, it might come up and test these last lows here before it comes back down. But still a short trade we're looking for. All right, so that was the first one from yesterday, guys. The second one was this, Aussie dollar against the US dollar. Um, and we're going to let's start with a weekly chart here, just so you can see it, guys. All right, and the weekly chart was really giving us impetus to take this short as well. So um, let me zoom out. Ever since this structure had broken, so as soon as we got this candle, it broke all of these lows over here. So we had lower lows on the day chart. Potentially a bit of a head and shoulders forming. Yeah, shoulder, head, shoulder, knees and toes. Apologies. Um, so yeah, so we've got that. And we've got these the wicks on these weekly candles. You know, there's sellers sitting in here, guys, pushing price back down. And then if we look at the day chart as well, yeah, super duper bearish candle. Okay, we were, you know, we were, you know, price was building up, but then it came back down, you know, technically bro broke these last lows, but then come back up, these last highs held, okay, and then we got this very bearish candle. So the idea was just to take this bearish candle back down to these lows. 
Okay, and this psychological level of 6650. Um, on this one, guys, we did have a, a, a couple of entries here. So as you can see on my chart, guys, we had our two grey zones. We had this one where price reacted, and obviously it did make it up to this zone. But yeah, guys, we got this candle. Again, let me zoom in. We got this candle that formed at our grey zone. So we could have entered off of this candle, guys. We had a we could have entered here, put your stop above here, and you would have got your risk to reward of one is to one. Remember, guys, the risk to reward should be at least one is to one. Okay. And then once you get that, we can close 80% here. Yeah. And then leave 20% to run, guys. All right. We also had this candle as well, but this was selling directly into this hourly um support level but yeah we could have shorted off that as well potentially put your stop up here all right guys but yeah that trade's still looking good to short that down um so those are the two trades from yesterday guys let's take a look at today's trades now guys if you enjoyed the recap maybe you took one of those trades then come join us yeah subscribe to the channel smash the notification button and smash the like button guys we'd love to have you on the channel welcome um right trade ideas for th uh, not thursday tuesday the 18th of april um before i start guys just a couple of things first of all i'm not in my natural habitat this is thailand uh, behind me so i'll be here for a week guys all right i'll send you a few vids and pictures uh and secondly guys just a few things to keep my uh, editor happy First of all, the Discord channel, guys. If you haven't joined that, come join it. Lots of cool things on there. We've also got VIP Discord. Um, secondly, if you would like to be mentored one-on-one -on -one with myself, then send us an email and we'll give you the details of the mentorship program. And thirdly, guys, we've got an educational challenge where we give you a bespoke indicator. You learn how to use it and you can earn money using it, guys. All right. You do have to pay for the challenge, but the rewards are good. Um, so yeah, if you want information on any of these things, that's any of these things, guys, they are all in the video description. Um, right then, so trades for today, guys. So um, I'm still seeing US dollar strength, guys. Okay, so just to show you a few, I mean, this is Aussie dollar, US dollar. We were looking to short this from yesterday. I still think we can take price back down to here. Yeah. Um, if we look at uh, another US dollar pair, Euro US dollar, yeah, we can see that, you know, sellers are really taking it down off these weekly highs. Okay, but this is still in an uptrend. Okay. Um, we've also got pound US dollar. I'm just showing you, you know, US dollar strength at the moment. Yeah, so these sellers are pushing it down off these levels, guys. If I get a break of these lows here, yeah, that would be a good trade. Okay, but the one US dollar major that I do like today is this, is the US dollar against the Japanese yen. Get my teeth in, guys. I'm on holiday. Bear with me. I can barely speak. Um, but yeah, the first one, guys, is US dollar Japanese yen because this is, I'm seeing US dollar strength and this has broken these highs. All right, so this is why I like this pair, guys. Um, so this is the first trade idea for today. And as you can see, guys, ever since we broke these lows up here, we were in a downtrend. Okay. And then price has slowly, you know, developed into an uptrend, guys. All right. Ever since we broke these highs yesterday. Yeah. We now have higher highs. Yeah. So we can clearly see that's an uptrend. And I think potentially we have room back up to these highs over here. Let me actually put in that target. One second. So my target for today will probably be here. So my first target today, guys, will be, be this 13500. Yeah, roughly there. But it could also potentially come all the way back up to this 13700. Okay, guys, so yeah, they're the two higher time frame targets. This would be my first target, this 135 level, and then potentially this 137 level, guys. Okay, but we are looking for buys 
structure and the you know these two bullish candles as well tells me buyers are in control um if we drop down to the h1 chart now what will we be looking for okay so yeah there's a couple of zones through here so this big gray zone is a daily zone guys let me remove this so we can see things a bit more clearly and then all i'm looking for guys is i'm, I'm looking to the left and i believe there is a you know there is an area through here if i kept coming left you'll see this area okay so this entire gray zone yeah because you've got this reaction, this reaction, reactions over here, and this reaction as well. So I think this grey zone will be a good area to look for buys. Okay. Is there another area? Could price come down to here? Let me have a look on the H4 guys as well. Okay. So yeah, price could potentially retrace down to this level, guys. There's a bit of a level through here yeah price could retrace back down to here so i'm going to put these two levels in because it price has reacted here as well okay so we've got a couple of gray zones we can enter from guys if i zoom in what i want to see is price retrace into this gray zone somewhere i want to see a bullish reaction once i get that we can take price back up to the last h1 highs to start with i close 80 percent. that's how i roll and then we'll leave 20 percent to run um, if that doesn't happen, guys, price could retrace back down to this grey zone. All right. And then again, we get a bullish reaction. We take price back up to these last highs, close 80 percent and then leave 20 percent to run. But US dollar, Japanese yen, we're looking to buy this pair. Um, right. What else are we looking at today? We are also looking at this Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar. This too has just broken an important level. So if we start with the day chart, yeah, what are we seeing? So let me zoom in. Okay. So structurally, guys, again, as soon as we started breaking these lows, we were in a downtrend. Okay, downtrend, downtrend. And then price was finding resistance off this gray zone. Eventually broke down further. Yeah, but then price has just found lots of buyers ever since. Okay. And then prices come storming back up. Yeah, look at look, just look at the candles. Green, 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 green. And broken these last highs. This is the important bit, guys. It's broken these last highs. As soon as it breaks these last highs, we've now got higher highs. Okay. Which suggests an uptrend. Yeah. If we zoom in. Yeah, you can see we've broken all these highs through this gray zone with this candle here. So yesterday's candle was bullish enough. We've got a bit of a top wick, but bullish enough. Broke these highs. I think we can take price back up to this level here, if not further, guys. Okay. So we're looking to buy this pair. If we drop down to the H1 now, what are we looking at? So I'm going to drag this across because this is definitely a grey zone. Okay. Um, but what else are we seeing? But there's also a grey zone through here, guys, that we've had a bit of a reaction from. Okay, so a couple of grey zones. I'm even going to make this a little bit more like this. Okay, so these are the two grey zones, guys. First of all, price could react in here. If we get a bullish reaction, we'll take price back up to our higher time frame target. Um, if that doesn't happen, price could retrace into this grey zone. And again, you can see price is reacted in this at this level. If it does, again, bullish reaction, we can get into the trade, take price back up to these last highs would be my first target, and then leave 20% to run. Okay, guys, so yeah, we've got US dollar, Japanese yen. We're looking to long that pair, and we're seeing dollar strength in gen general. And also looking to long Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar as well, guys. All right. So they're the two trade ideas for today. If you've enjoyed the analysis, would like my trade ideas every day, then come join the channel. We would love to have you. Um, also join the Discord. Um, okay. Let's take a look at the news now. 
so news for Tuesday, the 18th of April, guys. So we've got a lot of uh, news overnight. We've got the Aussie dollar RBA meeting minutes. We've also got the GDP coming out of China, industrial production. Um, so that could all affect the Aussie dollar, guys. Um, but by the time most of you get up, you will be looking at this. Yeah, The first piece of news you'll be interested in is this. At 7 o'clock, London GMT. We've got some employment data coming out of the pound. Yeah, we've got two pieces of three star ratings. So that can really move uh, the pound, guys. Must be aware of that. If we carry on down, 10 o'clock, London GMT, we've got the German uh, zoo economic sentiment. That's going to move the euro, especially if these, these uh, results are much higher or much lower than expected, guys. That's what really gets movement when we see the data releases. Um, what else we're we looking at? Yeah, one thirty London GMT. We've got building permits coming out of the US. That's going to potentially move any US dollar pair. And then a big piece of news for the Canadian dollar guys. Yeah, if you're in any Canadian dollar trades, this is going to be a big piece of news. At one thirty, we've got core CPI. Okay, so that's really going to move the Canadian dollar. And then after that, guys, as you can see, no more news to speak of. Um, so that's it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed my video, my analysis. If you have, come join us. Subscribe to the channel. Um, we would love to have you. Have a great trading day, guys. Um, I'll send you a few pics of Thailand, and I'll see you tomorrow.